Guys, what's up? It's Brian McCary again with another guitar tutorial. Uh, Midsummer Madness. Guess what? I did this one before. Uh, but I did it back in 2018 when I didn't have all of this. Uh, we didn't have, you know, uh, chord charts that you could follow along with. <laughs> I'm sure you had to play this like and subscribe let me know other songs you want to learn on guitar no like seriously here's a proof ready uh bam this this is me this is me back in 2018 <laughs> like i'm in the same corner here it's just a little different um all right so like and subscribe let me know other songs you want to learn uh on guitar all right uh and let me pull this up here real quick so we can have a better feel for this. All right, Midsummer Madness. Uh, D, and the only reason I call it a D is because it's th it's that note that that's on the bass line, right? Zero, 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 two, two, zero. So second fret, G, second fret, B. If you need help reading the numbers, there's an Instagram post in the comment section. Go check that out, all right? Uh, we're just, we're plucking A, D, G, Oh, and the way I'm doing it, thumb, 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 index. So that way, when I'm hitting that index uh, string, my thumb has some time to go back to the A and start over. Okay, then we're gonna switch to A, zero, zero, two, 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 zero, A, D, G, U, B again. So we're, pretty, we're gonna be doing that pretty much the whole way through the song, right? Eight times for D, eight times for A. <clears throat> There's gonna be a part though, where it sounds like it's slowed down and when things get slowed down, the pitch gets slowed down. Right? Uh, so we're doing C, A, D, G, B again, same. And then we're gonna make a G chord, zero, three, two, zero, 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 zero. And again, A, D, G, B, but we're not getting that. So if you wanna to try to get that G, uh, the low E on the third fret, right? You can kind of flam the E and the A together. And then you get that G sound. But if you can't do it, just hit A D G B. Right, and then go back to C. If you notice, I hit it that E string once when I thought like, okay, maybe I can like have it ring out a little bit, and it works. So you just gotta be careful there, all right? Um, but then you go back to D to A and you keep doing that until the end of the song. So if you have any questions, you know, shoot me a comment down below, uh, refer to my last video. Maybe I'll link that down here so you can watch how bad it was. Subscribe, check out some of the videos here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.